Hey there you guys, welcome back. <laughs> Today I just decided to do a little bit of an update on uh, on some of the tropicals that I have outside in the garden. I haven't done any um, uh, garden updates pretty well all season except for the springtime. Uh, mostly because things have been really, really hot and really, really dry and it's been... Uh, I haven't wanted to be outside. It, it, it's been really gross, sweaty and yucky. It's uh, been one of the hottest summers on record. And, uh, yeah, I just didn't want to be outside, which is a shame. Uh, really not motivated. As you know, we're, we're, uh, we're having another house built. So, um, actually, little update on there. I have a hole and, uh, and also some footings now. So, right up in here is the photos of that. Very exciting. So, still on schedule for March, hopefully, to move. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's been a lot of fun so far, taking up some time and and uh, going and visiting the plot and everything else. So uh, I haven't had much time uh, with work and life to uh, make these videos, but uh, eventually I will get back into it, especially after I move. But hopefully I'll be into it a little bit more as the, uh, the days cool down and I get motivated to be outside and actually work, uh, rather than just lay there like a lump. Uh, so anyway, as you can see behind me, we have uh, Brugmansia that's finally started to bloom. It's uh, starting to look nice. <laughs> I didn't fertilize it um, really all season, uh, and then uh, I was wondering why the buds were dropping. So it's because I wasn't fertilizing it enough. Also, probably not enough water. I uh, started piling it in uh, just uh, maybe about a month ago, and then the buds started to come in, and now we're just starting to open now. So very excited to show you that. And uh, uh, again, uh, the other tropicals, let's just get to it. Uh, it's not a whole backyard tour because it just looks like sad and overgrown. But again, I'm going to be moving, so I'm going to be moving a lot of plants. Actually, I've already moved uh, quite a number of hostas to a friend's house. Thank you, Ilona, uh, for, uh, for volunteering your space to, uh, to babysit for a little while. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just get to it. <laughs> Okay, so here's the Brugmansia. As you can see, there's lots of buds all over the place. This thing stands about eight feet tall at the moment. Uh, when I brought it outside, it was probably four or five feet tall. So it's, uh, it's grown really, really well. Uh, the majority of the large uh, new stems are probably about five feet long. As you can see, it's doing beautifully. The, uh, look at these flowers. Starting at the bottom first. So pretty. <laughs> they smell nice. They're not really, really overwhelming right now, but uh, give it a little bit of time for more of them to open. The hanging baskets are doing just fine. I uh, haven't done any maintenance to them. They've dried out many times because of the heat, um, but uh, they're still surviving. This is the Thailand Not So Giant. Uh, it was shaded out by the hosta. I got rid of the big Empress Wu hosta, and uh, now we've got just the, uh, the Thailand Giant. It's finally starting to grow. We had a lot of storms just recently, and uh, leaves were breaking because of the wind, but uh, we're back at it. Back here we have the uh, Alocasia macariza. We did a repot video of this one in the fall last year, and I uh, told you that it was going to get much bigger than it was, and uh, it has done beautifully this year. It stands uh, almost as tall as me, I would say. It's close to six feet tall in the pot, um, but... Uh, I guess, I guess it'd be about five feet tall sitting on the ground. My little dwarf banana, it's getting shaded out. There we go, the dwarf banana is looking beautifully, uh, beautiful, uh, looking really, really nice. Uh, and then this is the cactus garden. It's doing beautifully. Can't ask for anything more this year. Hopefully next year it grows beautifully as well, um, and hopefully it survives the winter inside. Over here, this is uh, uh, Alocasia portadora, or portora. Uh, I thought I was going to have to throw this away because it wasn't growing. It really started late. I'm talking like uh, end of June it started to put out leaves, finally. Um, but now it's starting to do okay. And it's got all kinds of babies down at the bottom. Is it going to focus in? Yep. So tons and tons and tons of babies all the way around it, so I'm going to be separating those out. Uh, and then, let's go to the front yard and see the big N-set banana. Here are my three pots of Emophorphallus conjac. They're doing beautifully. Just uh, 
doing their own little thing. They're all crushed up against each other. But uh, as you can see, they're probably about two feet tall. Uh, these are just the small to medium sized uh, bulbs that I had. Uh, the big one that flowered didn't really do anything this year, which I'm uh, really uh, sad to say. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's rotting. I don't, I don't know. It's still just doing nothing. It has, doesn't even have any leaves yet. And here is the uh, NSAID Murii, I believe, uh, the big red banana. Uh, it's looking beautiful. Uh, it got to be a nice size this year, not as tall as last year. Again, it's been really, really dry, so uh, it didn't do as well. This year, we're going to, because I'm going to be moving, I'm going to be chopping it right down, and we're going to do another, um, uh, uh, oh, what a tuber division. What do you call that? Rhizome? Not rhizome. Uh, corm division. That's the word. Uh, we did that in the past, and we're going to do it again. And because I'm probably not going to have fences for a little while, I'm thinking maybe I can have a banana fence, because I will get hundreds of babies out of it. And then over here is... Um, uh, Colocasia escalenta doing just fine and then over here we have the uh, the spider lilies that are looking really really sad I'll have to dig those up very very soon uh, as the temperatures get a little bit colder so anyway this is an update on the big tropicals uh, soon they will be coming inside but uh, looking beautiful right now anyway happy growing everyone this one is called Episcia uh, caprita metallica probably saying it wrong I love these pink flowers are they are they zooming in are they are they coming in nicely I posted a couple of photos